Cougars Highlights brought to you by Commonwealth Financial. Hi, I'm Dan McLaren, President of Commonwealth Financial, and I'd like to thank you for taking an interest in our organization. At Commonwealth, we have a principle that's key to everything we do, and that's teamwork. Whether it's planning your financial future or negotiating a great rate on your mortgage, let us put our team to work for you. Saturday night at CN Center, the Prince George Cougars playing the second of two against the Tri-City Americans. The Cougars on a four-game losing streak after losing 5-2 to two on Friday night. They would try to better their luck on Saturday in front of a, a crowd that was oh, a little bit chilly from the cold temperatures outside. Let's start with a fight to warm things up. It's Tyler Halliday of the Prince George Cougars and Jason Gardner of Tri-City. They take a while to dance before they finally get at it. And uh, this one's going to turn out about as much of a, a draw as you're ever going to see between uh, two fighters. Gardner gets in the early the early punches and Halliday responds later in the bout. The uh, Tri-City Americans do get on the board first in this hockey game. It's going to be uh, Taylor Procession scoring his 22nd of the season. That makes it one nothing uh, for the visiting club. And they look good early in both hockey games, Friday and Saturday night. Second period now. Cam Stevens along the boards, and he's going to shoot through traffic. It finds its way past Joe Caligiri, and the Americans have a 2-0 lead. Then Tri-City on a power play, and watch for number 23 right in front. That's uh, Tyler Schmidt. He'll end up with the puck straight in front of the netminder, just shovels it in, and that makes it 3-0 for the Tri-City Americans. Still in the second period, Dallas Jackson, number 29, does the work along the boards to free the puck loose, then Kind of makes some space for himself and is rewarded with his 10th goal of the season. That's the first time he's hit double digits in his Western Hockey League career. It's 3-1 to one for Tri-City. Now, uh, the Americans don't let that uh, get any closer. It's Mitch Fadden who came over from the Lethbridge Hurricanes in a trade. He's able to walk right through the defense and score his 11th of the season. Pretty easy goal. And the Tri-City Americans have a 4-1 lead going to the third period. Now in the third period, Parker Stanfield, after the work by Jackson to get the puck across the blue line, Parker Stanfield's going to pick up the rebound and stuff it behind Drew Owsley playing goal for Tri-City on this night. The Cougars have got it within 4-2. to two. That's Stanfield's 15th goal of the season, and it came on a power play. And look at the work by Jackson to avoid McComb at the uh, blue line and then to fight through some uh, people to get the puck in deeper in the zone. And by the time it pops out to Stanfield, he's able to look at quite a bit of net beside Owsley and make it 4-2. to two. Jordan Messier will close the scoring as he did one night earlier for the Americans, makes it uh, 5-2 score behind Joel Daniluk for the PrinceGeorgeCitizen.com. I'm Jim Swanson.